G'day guys, it's Disaster AJ here, back at it again with Life is Strange Before the Storm. Today we ditch class and catch a train to God knows where with Rachel, but what mysteries lay ahead. I hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you all in the video. Oh, good. You're here. How's that good? I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had <laughs> weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm He's still got having a trouble now. with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question mm. is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or... Has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Um, this one. Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow, a romantic and a cynic. <laughs> that actually kinda helps me, thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. <laughs> You'll live, man. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Or you could have just grabbed it uh, yourself. Y you yeah. just want to see you naked, don't you? Sure. Okay. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable. Um. Oh, that's a nice photo. Rachel looks so happy here. Oh my God! What happened to your face? <laughs> There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Uh, props. Oh, cool. Pencil fund, <laughs> please. Uh, Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Bring it to her. It's okay. I'm sure you've seen girls naked before. Kind of. Uh. That was a cool costume. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Yes. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll let you finish changing now. <laughs> Yeah. 
Chloe Price. Rachel Amber? Last night was amazing. If I were getting attacked was, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Um, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Um, fuck yes. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Know about that eye? That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Sure thing, but... Yeah, all right, why not? Let's bond. Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Hold still. Wow, well, that's one way to use this makeup, I guess. This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Much better. Brand new. Holy Look at shit. That. Let's get the hell out of here. Ah, uh, yes. Here we are. You Back sure at this you don't train. Just grab the bus or. Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? A lot of fun. Might meet a um, homeless man on the train. Who knows? Come on, Chloe, lift your fat ass up. Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. It is. Definitely. Elliot. Oh, God. Mmm. Um, hey, why weren't you in chem? Everything okay? Yep. I heard shit went down with Drew and Nathan. Did you see? Yeah, let's talk later. Okay. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. Yes, you should. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Max, get your Should ass over I here. Catch the train. Is that what people do? Uh. Nice weather. It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. Mm -hmm. That sucks. But she will come back. I didn't mention it earlier, but 
You seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, <laughs> shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Um... I love company. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. That's Let's very true. Um, flirt. V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, I don't know. Okay, something fun. I'm always <laughs> two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play two truths and a lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. Can Sounds I cheat? Fun. You're on. Is there any way of cheating in this game? I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Yeah. Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. Um... So, which is the lie? Um... I reckon she is a Leo. I reckon... I'm, um, um, shit. I actually don't know. This one? I don't buy the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad. Oh, because fuck. it's true. Prove it. Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. Damn. Oh shit. I'm okay. afraid the lie was New York. Ah oh, fuck, I know. I'm a it. Cali girl, born and raised. So I New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. Cool. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I I reckon we should put two lies in. Why not lie? Um, I'm allergic to cats. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. All right, fine. I will do two truths. Okay. Um. Um, country music makes me throw up. I country music when I was a kid. Now it makes me want to throw up. 
literally. That's weird. Yeah, it is very weird. Okay, truth. I love science. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Ah, uh, please get it wrong. Uh, Come on. Hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. No, you don't. I'm not sure why country music makes oh, you yes. grow up. Oh, yes. I'm on. a complex girl, Rachel. I think it's probably true. Oh, fuck. Also, I kind of like the Dixie Chicks. Fuck. You and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's David? My mom's boyfriend. He's, ah, <laughs> the, the guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Oh. And you don't like him. No. <laughs> it's still so weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, they, they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. Like, the opposite of my dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a load of bullshit. What do you mean? You're not a problem, Chloe. You're a person. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> the only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. Oh, God. A muscle car? I'm probably going to steal it soon, so... Let me know if you need an accomplice. Okay. Can we get on with this game, please? Come on. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work? That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Well, fuck you, then. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why, why though? I mean, maybe you're allergic, but I've passed by your locker a few times, and I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. Um, stalker much? You've passed by my locker? Stalker much? Hey, I notice things. I can't help it. I guess you're no stranger to being noticed, too. It's kind of new for me. Well, get used to it. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. No. A lifetime of studying the human condition. It's because they made her cheat. Um, I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. Also, you told me about that dickwad David. Now he's on my shit list too. Hell yeah. Mustache brain won't know what hit him. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but... Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. 
I trust you. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Share with Rachel here. Yeah. Hey, want to listen? Bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Mmm. I hear you. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes. I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Take me with We're you. Here. But watch out for Nathan. What? What and is here? Mr. Jefferson jump in order. And find out. Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it, jump. Fuck be it. a man. That's right. Just jump. Oh, this is nice. It looks like a park. Yes, it is. Wait. Well, I'm gonna consider it some sort of um, hot spot, like a somewhat of a park or something. I don't know. Come on, Chloe. Pick up your pace. Stop being such a fat bitch. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. Games, acting, lying. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of Ugh. shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. Both. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. There, there's no point in banging on it. That blows. Well, shit. Check the other one, maybe? I don't know. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Let's see what you got. Oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> Let's find some objects. To jam it right on in there, or something, I don't know. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Can we just... Just take a look, I guess? 
The lonely oak looks lonely. Guess even trees have outcasts. Okay then, alright, let's just um Can I pick up a rock? Can I Oh my god. There's a bench. Let's scare these little bastards away. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self respect. Poor Rachel. Okay, let's. Fucking. What the hell is Bye, it with these animals? Fools. Fuck. Oh my god, you sons of bitches! Okay, let's um, take a look at this. I've always said the Prescott family has a couple screws loose. Okay, hang on, wait. Maybe I actually need to um, interact with this. Investigate. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Hmm. Okay, now we should be able to pick stuff up. Initials. A, W, and B, W. TK and MJ forever. Oh, God. For Shano. HP. <gasps> Harry Potter and um, Jenny Weasley. Oh, no way. Okay. Um, I swing? Oh, how the hell can I do with that? Okay, squirrels, fuck off. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. Can I fucking... Oh my god. This is gonna annoy the fuck out of me, isn't it? Rachel, you don't have a pocket knife on you or anything, do you? Oh dear. Wonder if I can get that. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. Yeah, maybe. Let's. Can I? Just... Okay, I need to find something. Um, hello, people. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Oh wow, God. I hope my. Um, girlfriend, future wife, doesn't get mad at me if I lock the car, uh, lock the uh, keys in the car, and then continue arguing about it for three hours straight. Like fuck. Speak. Hey, spare some change. Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not. What kind of food? Oh, sounds. This has really gone downhill. Shh, she's right there. Wow, so rude. Okay, mind if I just take this wine? My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. There's a bird's nest. What's in here? Ah, oh, it's just a little bird. Okay, hello bird's There's nest. There's gotta be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. Yeah, friendly, okay. Now there should be something. Um, come on, what the hell can I pick up to, um, wonder if I can get that quarter out of the viewfinder. Gee, well, all right, hang on, okay, let's just, um, graffiti this first. Um, sextant, why the hell not? Let's go with the fame. Stop sextanting the interns. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, f um, Rachel, I, I need help. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? Oh, uh, really? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. 
How about a nail file? Yeah, it I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Victoria, Chloe Price. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, okay, well, here, here it is. Um, can I just... Okay, Chloe Price. Fluorine, uranium, carbon... Carbon. <laughs> Potassium, uranium? I don't... Uh, I think I don't know that spells... Fuck you, on the periodic table? I got in trouble for that, you carbon, uranium, nitrogen, tin? You called me a cunson, huh? Tin is sin. Fuck you, bitch. You're so dead, you're. <laughs> Get owned, Victoria. Fucking love it. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Steph. Hey, heads up. Wells is on the warpath. Oh, no, seriously. Just trying to help. Whoops, what did I do? You're right, you killed me this morning. That's what the GM does, girl. Ah, uh, dude. Also, thanks for playing with us. Mikey had a blast. He's cool. He's been down lately. Not sure why, but I know playing with you really meant a lot. Alright. Let's just get this thing done. I am definitely enjoying my view. First got power, activate. I mean, just look at this whole place. Alright, let's get that quarter. Okay, let's use this other machine and... Game over. I win. That was enough of a game for me. Your MacGyver skills are second to none. Except, probably, MacGyver. Rachel smells like... Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. <laughs> it's okay if you All smell right. of sweat. Here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Okay. Hmm. What's going on with these two? Um, child sacrifice. And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. That kid honestly dark. looked like dark. he, I, I don't know, came out of a um, mental institution or something? I don't know. Oh, you, you, you look great there, mate. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? Super wedgie. No matter super how wedgie. fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic, but also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> Uh, let's see who else. Oh. Sweet beanie. 
What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi-Fi Nature's sucks. Nature's Wi-Fi <laughs> sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Tingos <laughs> ate our babies, 13. Hey. Too you, soon. You, you can't use that reference. You're not Australian. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> This is fun. Who's next? Oh. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Oh, she shit. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Um. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and be sure to hit the subscribe Rachel? button. Till then, see you next time.